Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to review the Power Mac G5 and before we get into the video, there's a short story on how I got this Power Mac. So I usually talk, talk about this in all my videos. So the other day I was, I was at the eBay website just looking through and I found this good deal for $30. It said it's a fully working Power Mac G5. At first I was a bit unsure if I should get this or not because some listings like these are scam scammers. I was a bit worried but in the end I got it and now we have our Power Mac. So now let me show you the Power Mac and let's get started into the video. Here's the Power Mac. Uh, this is how I got this Power Mac. The bottom stand was a bit ajar. Uh, yeah. So this Power Mac was introduced back in 2002. So it's actually a 19 year old device. So now if we move on to the, so here's the power button, the headphone jack, a USB and one five wire port. Here we have our super drive. Now let's move on to the back. The back of the Power Mac we have one apple display connector port and one dvi port we don't have a vga port here are two two cooling fans and here we have our wi-fi our bluetooth and these are two probably some modern ones and this is for the speaker two usb another firewire one mini dvi one ethernet and this one i'm i'm not really sure this has some pop-up which i'm not really sure i wasn't able to open this so yeah guys, so that's a good amount of ports. Of course, this was back in 2002, we don't have such ports now. But before we turn on the Power Mac and look at it, now let's take a look at the hardware first. We've taken a look at the ports, now let's take a look at the real hardware inside of the Power Mac. To open the Power Mac, we gotta just open this latch here and the lid just comes off. With the lid now all taken out, let's put this aside. We had a plastic cover holding it. Let's remove that also. We have the internals exposed here. Now let's take a look at them. So here we have two G5 logos. This means this is not a this is not a regular base model. This is actually an upgraded version. We will look at the technical specifications soon. Okay, so it was quite dark, so I have turned on the torch light now. As you can see here, this is the motherboard and the graphics card. Here we have our our HDD. Of course, we don't have SSD because I decided not to upgrade it. And if you guys take a closer look at here, there's one SSD connected to the Power Mac, and there's one free HDD slot. So we can actually add another HDD if you want. The person I bought it from did an unethical repair and the HDD is not straight. I don't think you guys can see it here but it's, it's not straight. And now if we move on to the side, of course this is very rusted but this is the optical CD drive. I tried many times but I'm not successful in opening the, the optical drive which I don't know why it's, I'm not able to open it. And of course here we have we have two cooling fans again. Behind of course is the motherboard and the RAM. And there inside we can you can see the four RAM sticks. So now we have seen the internals of the Power Mac. This is an upgraded version and it's not the regular base model Power Mac. This is actually the upgraded Power Mac. So now let's turn on the Power Mac. So before we turn on the Power Mac, we got to connect it external monitor I have here. But, but my external monitor is VGA. But we don't have a VGA port here. I've got a dongle here. Let me, let me just connect and get back. With the external display connected to the Power PC, we got to connect the, the main component, the power supply. The power socket is here. I've got to plug it in. There we go. With that done, we have our last two components to connect. One is the mouse and the keyboard. Let's connect it. Put my keyboard and my mouse and my monitor set up here. So it's time to turn on the power mic. Go press the power button. There we have the light. And there we have it. It's running. I hope you guys can see that here. Green light. Now it's off, so let's wait for it to turn on. There's a white light here, so it's turning on. Now we have the Power Mac turned on. Now let's go take, take a look at the technical specification. So this is running on Mac OS X. It's a dual 2, 2 GHz Power PC G5, and that is a 2 GB RAM, 4 RAM sticks. That means one RAM stick is 500 megabytes. You can see here we can see that this is 114 megabytes, and the other one is 32 gigabytes. 114 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. Now let's just close this. Airport card built inside it, but I tried connecting it to my Wi-Fi. It did not connect. I do not know why. And because I couldn't connect it to the Wi-Fi, the Safari and all didn't work. This is really troublesome that I cannot screen record. You guys can see this is the old Safari logo and FaceTime is called iChat. This is called address book, iTunes, iCal. Yeah. So the calendar was used to be called iCal. Of course, QuickTime player system preferences it's actually pretty responsive i wasn't expecting it to be this responsive but it was quite good this is a, this definitely has a cd drive we saw just now but unfortunately i couldn't open the cd drive so we cannot put a cd inside and test it out dashboard is just like that it doesn't have anything much so if you want to if you want to check out the application we have on here the apps you got to click the 
drive symbol and we're going to click applications to see the apps inside here of course this has automator calculator let's open the calculator app this is the old calculator app and here we have the dvd player we're going to physically open the physical dvd player so we are not able to do that so we have itunes quick time player preview stickers some of you might be wondering what is sherlock is the older version of spotlight search so there's text edit the safari preview and all the apps are are still available in the newer Macs. There's automator here, chess and a few other stuff like yeah. So I can actually use this to take notes. It's time for the speaker test now. Play the music at full volume right now. So I'm just gonna adjust the volume up here. See, so it's, it's at full volume now. So let's play. There was the speaker quality and of course it was pretty loud on camera because this is a soundproof room and there's no external sound coming from here but i tried the doors and everything open with the surrounding noise everything coming in just like a ambient normal usage the speaker was quite inaudible sometimes but since this is a soundproof room you can really hear it well but in normal usage in normal conditions this speaker isn't so ideal we could not do any gig gig bench or metal tests because th this power pc doesn't support any of the metal tests or, or i'm not able to download any metal tests or any any benchmarks because this does not connect to wi-fi like i said just now okay guys so now you guys may be wondering how can i use this in 2021 you cannot use this to do any web, web browsing or anything because it, it does not connect to wi-fi some of your Wi-Fi might, might connect. I did not try connecting with an Ethernet cable because I do not have one, one Ethernet. Maybe if I, if I connect to Ethernet, it might work. But, but if you're someone who cannot connect to Wi-Fi just like me, then you guys can use it to take notes. Like we have the notes tab here. We have the notes tab so you can use this to take notes or you can use this calendar or something or, or something like that. So note taking and watching videos are the only use of this Power Mac G5 in 2021. Of course, this was a powerful machine back in 2002 but it's been 19 years so yeah so yeah guys that's been it for this video i hope you guys like this type of uh, retro tech contents because these are really hard to find so i hope you guys like this type of content that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video do remember to click the like button and subscribe to the channel that will be really really helpful and it will really mean a lot to me so yeah guys that's been it thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one Bye bye